It happens every two years. Um, we get to meet gay inclusive teams from all over the world. Uh, teams with the same objectives and goals as us, you know, um, to provide an environment firstly for, for gay people to play sport where they, they feel welcome and feel comfortable, but it's also about breaking down prejudices and, and challenging stereotypes that still unfortunately exist in some parts of, of the world. The stereotype that gay people don't like sport or, or don't want to play sports. Um, so we, we challenge that every time we take to the pitch. With the Cup every two years, we, we get to meet the teams and, and speak about the issues they have and, and share ideas. And every two years, there's always new teams. This year, for example, there's a team from New Zealand playing. It's just great to be part of, and it's, it's, the camaraderie is brilliant off the pitch as well. I, I think, by and large, gay people are accepted right across society. And I mean, me personally, back home, I came out almost 10 years ago, my local team, um, and there was no issues at all. And, and a lot of people have experienced that. My friends have asked me, why the need for a gay inclusive team? You don't have a straight inclusive team. And we serve a, a number of purposes, I suppose, but when you ask anybody why do they play sport, you play sport because you like it, and who do you play for? You generally play for your local team, the team that the community you belong with. You might play for a school team or an old boys team or a university team. And for gay people, we play for a gay inclusive team. We represent the gay community in each city that we represent. Yeah, hopefully, it's absolutely, I'd use the word phenomenal, what, what they've achieved, the Bingham Cup organising committee, by getting the five major sporting codes in Australia, which I believe is a world first, to commit to stamping out uh, homophobia in sport. And not just you know on the pitch, but also in the dressing room, on the, on the stands. Because unfortunately, you do hear it across every, every code. You hear homophobic taunts being used. Um, the people who use them aren't necessarily homophobic uh, and the, the comments they're using are throwaway comments that you pick up probably in the play school, in primary school, it goes right through to high school, you'll hear it in a pub, you'll hear it in, on the street. The throwaway comments that people don't really think about the words they're using um, and the impact that it, it could have on people around them. Um, so hopefully this, this homophobia, anti-homophobia policy, if it gets signed off on, can help eradicate and stamp out the use of, of, of terms that are derogatory um, and insulting for gay people.